Great markets make bad agents. Bad markets make great agents. You can see all the headlines, big housing recession coming, worst year, all that kind of stuff. I dug in and I started crunching six publicly traded companies. I looked at how much value have they lost in just the past 52 weeks. That was it. $100 billion in lost value from these six publicly traded companies. You saw the Redfin news today. Okay, they're crashing even more. It's nuts. Again, I am very optimistic for the people in this room because I'm not doom and gloom at all, but we're gonna explain why. As all these big companies realize, there's never been a better time to take a look at your business, and you need to look at it under a microscope. You need to look at every single thing that you spend money on. What if you had laser focus and knew everything that you were doing today, what it would yield tomorrow? Who were your highest performing agents? Who were your lowest performing agents? What were your best lead sources, your worst lead sources? You would have had what I call actionable insight. That data, that knowledge yields insight. You could have taken your lowest performing agents and coached them up. You could try them on a different lead source. You can reward your best converting agents with more leads if they have the bandwidth for it. You can amp up your best lead sources. You can turn down and turn off your worst lead sources. You can spend more in your best geographic areas, spend less in your, in your worst geographic areas. You get it. You would have had the insight to create action to keep your performance up.